Also, we have a time constriction uh, that we normally never have, which means that we will have to end at five minutes to one. We have to uh, be, that's a, a firm deadline. There's somebody else coming in at one o'clock. We were blindsided on that. <coughs> and um, so my apologies. I want to announce that Julie Stevenson uh, is uh, um, a new member. So we stand here. And we have a first time guest, Erin Dale Plunkett. She prefers to be addressed as Erin. And Erin, uh, would you stand and tell us uh, um, what brings you here? I'm interested. I'm very transparent. I'm shopping for a Toastmasters group that feels good for wherever I'm looking in Massachusetts. I, and distance obviously is not an issue because I was just across the border in New Hampshire. So I'm trying everybody on because that's how I learn. Thank you. Glad you're here. Thank you. So we'll have to move right along here. Uh, let me introduce uh, the uh, Toastmaster, Bob Avalon. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I was, I was Toastmaster today, and I've chosen the theme of presidents. I got the idea when I was watching George Bush's funeral, and all the living presidents were lined up in the first row in order of their service with the exception of George W. Bush, who was with the family. But it reminded me of a story that I want to tell you, which took place in 76. The only president of the United States I ever met was Jimmy Carter. I was unemployed at the time, and I was looking for something to do, and I saw that my al alma mater, uh, BU, had Jimmy Carter's schedule. I had, didn't know much about him. I knew he was running for president. I didn't really know much about him. So I thought I'd go, I was interested in politics. And I got there a little early, he came down, he shook hands with me, he introduced himself, oh, I'm Jimmy Carter, and he did that to everybody that he could find. I was really impressed by that. Then I listened to his speech, and he was like real cocky. He said, I am going to go into the primary, I'm going to win, I'm going to win, I'm going to be your next president. And I said, this guy is crazy, I've never <laughs> heard of him. Anyways, <laughs> I listened to the speech, I was unimpressed. I basically he was too conservative for my taste in, in, at that time, my political leanings. He was too far to the right. So I ended up voting for somebody else in the presidential primary. I did end up voting for him in the final. I always vote for the Democrat. As you know, he won. His presidency was uh, wrapped with a lot of problems. We had a pretty bad economy. Had an energy crisis. Then he ran into the the um, the Iran hostage crisis. He did accomplish some good things. He was able to get peace between Egypt and Israel. And of course, as you all know, he's defeated by Ronald Reagan in a landslide. He's probably one of the best ex-presidents we've ever had. He devoted the rest of his life to public service. One of the few farm presidents that didn't cash in and try to make a lot of money. He started the Carter Center. He was a diplomat. He broke peace. He worked on habitat for humanity. And finally won the Nobel Prize in 2002 for his work. So he wasn't necessarily my favorite president <coughs> or my least favorite, but he was the one I met, so I always think about that. We'll move on now. Before we go to the next item on the agenda, I'd like to uh, Time and just explain how the cards work for the people that are relatively new. Can you just explain that, Chris? Bate? Sure. So I'm serving as timer today, and I'll be keeping track of the time of everyone's speeches. At the minimum time for the speech, I'll put up the green card. At the time between the minimum and the maximum, I'll put up the yellow card. And then at the maximum time for the speech, I'll put up the red card. After which, there's a 30-second grace period. 
after that period, I'll put up the stop now card, and at that time, if you're still speaking, we ask that you please just stop right away. Uh, please, uh, please observe the times today, particularly because of our limitation. Uh, well, next, the next item in the agenda would be uh, Rob Kanza. And Rob Kanza, his, uh, his thought of the day about presence is a quote by Abraham Lincoln, which is, people are just as, about as happy as they make their minds, to make up their minds to be, and that's his personal guru. So here's Rob. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. There's a microphone. Should I say good afternoon? Good afternoon. I'm so glad we're here. It's good to be together. It's good to practice and even goof up like I just did and be surrounded by warm laughter that tells us we're all human. <laughs> so we have the option of the mic, which I'll leave on. And we have the option of moving to the side and just speaking in a big voice. The camera's in the back. So if you want to, turn this off. So if you want to, you can project as if the camera is the person in the back of the room. In fact, we have a hero in the back of the room. His name is Brendan O'Brien. I'd like to give a round of applause for Brendan. Just eye candy. Eye candy. That's what Brendan is. <laughs> Eyes here. When we're of good humor, we can handle anything. We can handle the wrong room, not being set up the right way. We can handle issues about the no solicitation process. We can handle hurt feelings about somebody feels they got slighted we can remember that this is our practice. We're here to practice. And a good practice requires a good community. And a good community requires all the skills that we're learning as Toastmasters. It's a perfect fit. As the speaker, we want to articulate. As the audience members and members of Toastmaster, we want to listen with heart. And we want to try our best to tell the truth. And we want to try our best to keep things on time. Somebody was kind enough to send me a quote from Toastmasters. And it reminded me, starting on time and ending on time shows respect. Beautiful, isn't it? So even if you get the stop now card and you feel that embarrassment of <laughs> the yellow card's coming, just stop talking, just sit down, it's okay. We still love you, you can still love yourself because we're here to practice. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. All right, Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs> 